Okay, this video is not really going to be that long because I have a Skype date uh, whenever Lauren gets back. Um, but I just wanted to do a reaction video for last night's. Sorry, there's something on my laptop. Last night's episode of Hell's Kitchen. You know, I do these like often. You know. Uh, background's different from the last few videos um, because I am back in Chicago. <coughs> and dying, apparently. God. <laughs> Um, this is a new place. It's a real mess, so no one gets to see anything else of it until I clean it. But yeah, anyway, so HK last night. I missed a floor meeting to watch this episode, and I have to admit, it's, this is like the biggest, I, I have so many unpopular opinions about this episode, it's not even cute, but honestly, this episode was motherfucking brilliant. This is probably the best episode since the one where Jamie went home. I think Jamie went home in an episode. Uh, well, obviously Jamie went home in an episode. She's not here anymore, but you know what I mean. Like, it was, it was a really fucking good episode. Um, basically, what I want to do is just talk about my opinion on, not necessarily the elimination, because I feel like my opinion should be obvious, but, um, just how the elimination went down. Uh, fast forward all to the end. Screw the challenge. Good job, Paul. Everything, that's great. But in all fairness, let's just get to the end. So, obviously Will and Paul weren't going to go home because after they had gotten kicked out of the kitchen, they got brought back in, which has never happened before. And I have to say that if that doesn't make the two of them the final two, I will gag myself I'm not even kidding like it's dumb like I was so excited I almost cried when the two of them got brought back into the kitchen to cook with Ramsey and Scott and just like they're so good I love both Paul and Will um granted it would still be better if uh Natalie was there with them but what can you do anyway so it was obviously going to be one of the other three going up Obviously, both Elise and Jennifer knew that the two of them were going to be up. Um, I was kind of shocked that Tommy was that safe because he kind of went off on Ramsey, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be a reason why Tommy doesn't win. Um, I'm pretty confident that Tommy's not going to win. I like Tommy now, kind of, to an extent, but uh, it doesn't look like a winner. Anyway, so what I'm trying to go at is Elise and Jen knew they were going up, and then Elise pulled aside Will and Paul uh, and said, tell Ramsey that I am a better chef than Jennifer. If you have my back, I'll have yours. It's a really stupid thing to do. Um, I really hate it when people use like petty survivor strategies in a talent-based reality show. Um, I mean... Only the biggest of assholes on this show really do that. <coughs> Russell! <coughs> Season 8! <coughs> Russell! Yeah. You know, that. Ugh, still better. Still better, guys. Um, anyway, so apparently it worked, but I don't really think that it's really that big of a deal. Um, I know a lot of people are jumping off of the Will and Paul ship. Uh, wow, that sounded way too fan to me. You know, the boat that wants them to be the final four. Like, a lot of people are mad at Will and mad at Paul and hating on both of them because they listened to Elise and said that Jennifer was a weaker chef. Here's the thing. I don't really think that Elise is stronger than Jennifer, and I don't think that Jennifer's stronger than Elise. I think that they were both extremely not inspiring, I guess. Um, like, I've never understood the Jennifer hype. A lot of people think that she deserved to win this competition the most, and I'm sitting there like, I'm sorry. I don't remember Will ever screwing up on service, whereas Jennifer, do I don't remember Jennifer being best of best. So, fuck that. Um, I think ultimately, I, the reason I'm so happy about Jen leaving is the fact that, um, now that I don't have to worry about her winning, whereas if Elise left, it was like, well, she was never going to win anyway. Didn't you watch it from the from the beginning? Like, if you actually thought that Elise had a shot at legitimately winning, 
with that mouth and that attitude. I mean, villains win, but my god, no. No. I mean, they didn't let Jen in season four win. They're not going to let someone who's, like, infinitely worse win. Anyway, so a lot of people are upset because Will and Paul said that Jennifer was weaker. In all fairness, they've done this a lot. Like, Ramsey has asked people, who do you think is the weaker chef, blah, 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 blah. And if Ramsey disagrees with the majority, he will eliminate who he thinks should be eliminated. So if Ramsey really thought that Elise wasn't as good of a chef as Jennifer or was less deserving of being in the final four than Jennifer, he would have eliminated Elise. I don't care if this is a, if it's drama related. I'm sure Jen and Jen's crush on fucking Paul. She she liked Paul, yeah. Jen's crush on Paul, which I'm sorry, that was weird. That's so weird. Oh god. I'll get back to that in a bit. Jen's crush on Paul would have brought enough drama. We don't need Elise. Elise has brought enough drama to the table. She got out freaking Natalie and it was dumb, but it's like Ramsey would have done something if he really disagreed that much with what the boys were saying, what Elise was trying to do, then he would have eliminated Elise. He's not stupid. I don't think it's necessarily Fox's fault. The fact of the matter is, Jen isn't going to do well at the pass in the Final Four episode, hence why he eliminated her before Final Four. Tommy yelled this episode. Tommy has a shot. I think that that fight that Tommy had when Tommy was get, getting in a conflict with Ramsey was kind of like that glimmer of hope that, you know, maybe Tommy will do well with the pass because I'm pretty sure that he probably would have sent Tommy home instead. But then Tommy fought back, and you know what? Now Tommy has a shot at not being socially awkward and pathetic at the pass, which is really exciting, even though I was kind of really hoping to listen to him at the pass. It would have been so funny. Anyway, um, so no, I'm not mad at Will or Paul for going against Jennifer or saying things about Jennifer. And in all fairness, they didn't get Jennifer out. A lot of people are like, oh, Will and Paul voted out Jennifer. No, they didn't. Ramsey did. If Ra Again, if Ramsey really thought that Elise was less talented, he would have gotten rid of her. So, just bollocks to all of that. I, it's so annoying seeing poor, innocent Will and Paul. I mean, yeah, Will knows that he was played. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that if Will said, yeah, I think Elise is less talented, or Elise should go, or whatever, then I'm pretty sure Ramsey still would have eliminated Jennifer because Jennifer had less to give when it comes to the pass and running the kitchen. Whereas, yeah, Elise's voice is going to, like, kill everyone because it's so shrill and obnoxious, but at the same time, it's like, you know... Jen's not going to do any better. And Jen had been plummeting since the uh, final six, I believe. Yeah, final six. Like, Jen had been sucking real hard. So what do you expect? Like, her to make the final two when Paul is rising and Will is just staying perfect? Come on. Like, think about it. Yeah, I honestly have always been worried about Jen ever since, I think, Jamie went home. Or no, I think it was when Natalie went home. Once Natalie went home, I was like, I'm scared that Jen might make it into the final two and possibly win. And I know a lot of people were like, Jen's the best, Jen should win, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry, there is no reason for people to be saying that other than the fact that they just want a heavy set woman, older woman winning. Which, we did, she wasn't older, but we already had one like that last season and she didn't deserve it. Um... Jen, Jen is a better competitor than Nona was, but at the same time, I don't remember a single thing that Jen has ever put onto the table. So, no, I don't think that she deserved to win. And I was happy that she went because now I don't have to worry about it, and now I can just continue rooting for Will and Paul. And even if it's not Will and Paul, unless Tommy gets to the final two somehow, and then I'm, then I'm a little nervous uh, because Tommy might might win. I don't know. I doubt it, but I it, it could happen. If, if like, let's say things work out for me and let's say Will makes it to the final two with Elise it's a shoe in for Will to win because Elise isn't gonna win I personally want it to be a 
like a legit fair competition between Will and Paul. I would prefer Will to win, but I'm okay with Paul winning. I know it's been a rocky road, but Paul has definitely impressed me, and he seems like a cool dude. But yeah, no, basically what I'm trying to say is stop being mad at Will and Paul for saying that Jennifer deserved to, er, was the weaker chef. It's not their decision that sent, that sent Jennifer home. So stop hating on them. Understand that it's just a reality TV show, just a competition. It's like, come on. And I swear to God, they, there better not be like a Shelley Moore redux with uh, Will and Paul and people are like sending like hate mail or not hate mail. They're, they're already getting hate mail, but you know, like threats or whatever, because that's stupid. And it was stupid in Big Brother too. But yeah, no, just that's basically how I feel. It took 10 minutes to say that I think that Jen deserved to go home and I was happy that Jen went home. And I'm not mad at Will and Paul for doing whatever they did. If they want to feel bad about it, they can. But you know what? Elise isn't a threat. Jen was. And I'm happy that she's gone. Uh, the finale's next week. Again, I'm hoping it's Will and Paul. I think it should be Will and Paul. I don't know who it's going to be, but we will see how that goes. Really want it to be Will and Paul. Um, I guess if it was between Tommy and Elise, I guess I have to root for Tommy. <laughs> but I don't really think it's going to be that drastic. I mean... Again, Will hasn't screwed up yet, so I don't know. Uh, we get to find out who gets to be on Black Team, or not Black Team, uh, the returning people. And I really hope Natty's back, because I love her. I, like, tear up every time I see her on the opening. It's really bad. Okay, anyway, so this actually took a lot longer than expected, so I'm going to dip set and talk to you guys later. Um, team Will represent, and uh, bye.